Aloha. Welcome to Honolulu Chinatown. First overseas Chinatown, 1795. That building over there is, the tall building over there is called Francisco Marine Tower. Most people in California don't know that Marine County is named for him, Francisco Marine. Why? Because he was stationed at Monterey, California, the headquarters of the Spaniards. Now, the reason why we honor him here is because he was our King Kamehameha Mayor, the great business advisor. This is our Chinatown. He had under him over 300 Chinese boys from China working for Kamehameha under his supervision. And one of the things that uh, they manufactured over here was ancient Honolulu village was overrun with sugar cane all the way up to the valley. Well, the Chinese boys coming from China know about sugar. They're the first sugar masters in the world anyway. So what did the Chinese boys do for Francisco Marie? They made rum. And the main street in our Chinatown is called Vineyard Boulevard. Vineyard Boulevard, right on the street here, is called Vineyard Boulevard because Francisco Marine imported Isabella grapes from Madero Island, Portugal. And he had his Chinese help planted all over there grapes. What for? To make wine. So wine, the first winery this side of the Rocky Mountain coming out in California was right here in 1798-99 when Francisco Marin developed the first winery with the help of his Chinese working under him. Now, the Chinese also knew how to make a steel, so they knew how to make a mecca. So they made brandy out of the grapes. And from the sugar cane, they made rum. And from this tea leaf tree here, the old one, the roots, the roots of this, when they're, they're about 25 years old, they're super sweet with sugar. Super sweet. So the Chinese made a liquor called Makoli Hao, very, very close to what? Russian vodka. So Russia used to own Alaska. So the Russian ship would come to Honol Harbor and buy from San Francisco Marine every drop of this liquor from this tree. Because that's the closest to their vodka. So liquor was one of the major, major exports from Hawaii. Now the other thing that Francesco Marine introduced. In 1818, when he went to China, <coughs> on the way back, he stopped at Java and brought back hundreds of coffee plants. So in 1818, he planted coffee trees here in Hawaii. The coffee tree that he had his Chinese help planted was still growing above the University of Hawaii at a place called Manoa and Tantlas. But they're not doing very well, so he discovered Kona was the best place to grow coffee. So he took many of his Chinese help with the Hawaiian wives, who he got to marry anyway. Right. No more uh, Chinese girls. So he went to Kona to grow coffee in 1819, not the Japanese as they were led, you were led to believe. It was the Chinese men, farmers with the Hawaiian family that introduced coffee. This is the coffee tree. Okay? So, Francisco Marin did a lot of, made a lot of our history in Hawaii with the Chinese help. Okay, Francis. Now, here 
he's still buried over there with his Chinese help. Oh, wow. Where is he buried? Why, why is he buried over there? Okay, going back. The reason why he went to California is because when his boss died, Kamehameha the Great died in 1819, 1820, American citizen missionaries came over here and took it over. And because he was a Catholic, they rendered him second class citizen. Huh? Second class citizen. They wanted nothing to do with that Catholic. So that's the reason why he got mad about it. And he took all of his knowledge and his help to California because at that time, what, 18, uh, 25, 1830, California was still owned by Spain. And Monterey, California was the headquarters. Well, that's the reason why he went to California. And where do you think, where do you think all of the liquor, the you know, wine for the uh, California Catholic uh, missions came from? Him. Huh? Where do you think the Spanish got all of the liquor from? Him. Thanks to his Chinese help. So he, he took his Chinese help and his Hawaiian help to California, introduced grapes and wine, <clears throat> and you know what? Rice, because right here is the river, no on the river. He had a Chinese help growing rice for exportation to California. So he, he was the one that introduced rice to the Sacramento River. Huh? Number two. Number three, he had a big orange grove over here. So he introduced oranges to California. So for that contribution to California, California honored him with a county by a name in his name. That's the reason. Now many of his descendants in Hawaii are like you and I. Chinese Chinese because he liked girls. <laughs> Yep. So, he, so, so he had many different uh, partners, Hawaiian, Chinese, you know. Anyway, that's his part. Now this is a tarot. <clears throat> the Chinese, when they first came over here, over 350 of them worked for, the, worked for him. They grew tarot in large quantities like in China. So they were the ones that monopolized the tarot industry and the poet. P-O-I, Chinese Boy. manufactured poi, which is the, the staple of the Hawaiian. Did you ask Mark for anything? This small section here, I use it as my PowerPoint when I give lecture. So this small section here tells about how Chinese working under Kamehameha the Great, that's Kamehameha. Now, the reason why Kamehameha liked Chinese boys, 